There will be occasions in the programming process that will require you as the programmer to join the contents of two text boxes together or maybe a text box and a label or simply two strings together. This technique is referred to as concatenation. Concatenation is simply the joining of two strings or two items together. Concatenation is accomplished in Visual Basic by using the special symbol the ampersand. You will recall earlier in this chapter that we use the ampersand to create access keys by placing the ampersand in the caption of a particular control. These are two very different techniques even though the same symbol is being used. Access keys are created with caption properties. Concatenation is achieved through writing code. I have a form that I'll use to demonstrate concatenation. In this form, there is a text box which is named TXT Part 1, a second text box called TXT Part 2, a command button called CMD Join, and a label to display the concatenated text called LBL message. I need to write code with my command button to cause the concatenation to occur. So I'll double click and open up the code window. I need to first begin the code by referencing, in this case, the label where I want the concatenated text to be. LBL message dot caption equals. I would like to join the contents of text part one, that is the text property of text part one, along with text part two. I do so by using the ampersand between text part one and text part two. Now this line of code says to place in the label the contents of text part one and text part two. Let's run the project and see if it works. I could begin by simply typing something in, such as Visual Basic, and notice I am not going to hit the space bar, and then simply tab down to type in is really neat. Clicking on the Join Together button, you see that Visual Basic is really neat, is now concatenated or joined together inside the label. Look closely at the label, however, and you'll notice that there is no space, as you might expect, between basic and the word is. That is because Visual Basic has taken my line of code to be very literal, in that it simply said to join this text with this text. And that's exactly what it did. This could be corrected, of course, if the user did type a space after Visual Basic and then click Join Together. And when I click, you can see that it's now been corrected. But that's not realistic to expect the user to, to type in a space at the end of a line like that. So let's cause that to happen automatically in our code. I'll stop the project and return to our code window. I can program that space by concatenating a space. By placing the cursor after the ampersand, I can simply type a space in quotation marks. Now you'll notice, that, however, that I need another concatenation symbol, another ampersand that is, because now I have three parts, text part one, a space, and text part two. So therefore I need two ampersands. Let's run this and see what happens. Again, I'll type Visual Basic. Again, I will not hit a space bar. And I'll type is really fun. Click Join Together. And you can see automatically that space has been inserted. You could also, of course, simply type in the phrase that you might want to concatenate with another control. For example, I could type, hitting the space bar because I want a space between text part one, and simply type is really, really fun. Close.
close the quote. Now we'll run this and note that text part one and my phrase is what's being concatenated. Text part two has been left out of the code. So if I type VB and then type is pretty neat. When I click join together, you'll notice that what it prints is VB, which is my text part one, is really, really fun. And it totally ignores is pretty neat, which is the contents of text part two. And that is because the code is literally printing is really, really fun each time this line of code is executed. There really is no limit to how many things you can concatenate together. You might be wondering, well, why would you want to concatenate in a practical application? Well, one reason might be, for example, if you have a, a name or, let's say, a city, a state, and a zip code box, or three different boxes, city, state, zip code, and you would like to join the three together to create a mailing label application. The city, followed by a comma, perhaps, the state, followed by two spaces, and then the zip code. You could accomplish that through concatenation. Let's return to the code window for one more quick demonstration. You may have noticed that at times when I'm typing in code that the line of code, for example, this line of code, scrolls off the screen. This is not a problem as far as Visual Basic is concerned, but it does sometimes become distracting. So if you would like all the code to be visible on the screen, you can use the continuation character. The continuation character is simply the underscore. I'll place a underscore, an underscore that is, after the ampersand. And then hit the underscore key, and then a space. You need a space before and after the underscore, and then press the enter key. You could then space the continued part of the statement anywhere you like. So if you like, when a basic statement becomes too long for one line, you can use the line continuation character. Remember, you must have a space before and after this character. The only real, real restriction is that the line continuation character must appear between elements. That is, you cannot place a continuation character in the middle of a literal or split the name of an object or property. And you can use the continuation character for multiple lines. That is, I could continue this down to another line and have another phrase if I wanted to. For example, I could continue this with another phrase. Now I've got text part one dot text continued to the next line and it's going to concatenate is really really fun. If I want to concatenate this however I would need an ampersand here and then the continuation character. So let's run this one more time and we'll type VB Text part two is not involved, so we'll just leave that blank. And now you see that I've joined together the phrase VB is really, really fun and is powerful. 